This is a fundraiser to bring Zakira the Cheetah back home to Running Wild Cheetah Conservation. They run a nonprofit cheetah breeding and release project in South Africa. Zakira was born at Running Wild Conservation, but had to leave due to a breeder's contract. Her owners are willing to sell her to Running Wild Conservation. Running Wild's plan for Zakira is to train and release her back into the wild. Her two brothers, Levi and Logan, are at Running Wild now. Zakira, Logan, and Levi were born from cesarean sections from their mother, Kiki. One of these is Zakira. I don't know. But I need to explain a little bit about Kiki first. This is Kiki, a special needs cheetah owned by Running Wild Conservation. Sadly, when she was a cub, her mother sat on her and injured her shoulders. Based on multiple veterinary experts, the damage was irreversible. It's why Kiki is captive and can never be released. But like most animals, they learn to persevere. And she likes to still play. Kiki learned to manage her handicap by watching meerkats and why she sits upright for a better view. As incredible as Kiki's story is, it gets better. Veterinary experts agreed she could bear cubs if she wanted. Well, Kiki discovered the love connection and look what happened. Kiki's not fat, she's pregnant. She's three days from giving birth and there's four cubs in there. When it was time to give birth, Kiki was showing signs of stress. One of the cubs was breached and pointing in the wrong direction in the birth canal, tail first. An emergency cesarean section was ordered to save Kiki and her cubs. Before surgery, the all-important colostrum was collected from Kiki's nipples. Colostrum is an incredibly important compound produced by expecting mothers days before and after giving birth. It contains antibodies to fight infections as well as growth hormone and probiotics to help kickstart the digestive system. Sadly, the cub caught in the birth canal died. Zakira, Logan, and Levi survived. After a C-section, cheetah moms don't want to nurse because it hurts. They placed Kiki's cubs on her nipples while she was still under sedation. Cheetah cubs born by C-section are typically rejected by mom. There's a hormonal connection when cheetah moms give birth. Birth by C-section, that doesn't happen. After a few days of healing and constant interaction with her cubs, Kiki finally allowed her cubs to nurse. Kiki is the first known cheetah to accept C-section birthed cubs. Here they all are just a few weeks after birth. They continued to grow and develop with mom. The cub's father was not owned by Running Wild Conservation. Some months later, due to the breeder's agreement, Sakira went home where her father lives. Two years later, Sakira's owners have agreed to sell her to Running Wild Conservation. Thus the purpose of this fundraiser, to help Running Wild Conservation purchase Sakira. The sole purpose for getting Sakira back is to breed her once and release her back into the wild. It's an honorable goal and why I'm helping Running Wild Conservation get Sakira back. So I'm asking you to help me help them help Sakira. They need $10,000 to win Sakira back. I've offered 100% of my online fundraising efforts to reach this goal. So I'm asking for your help to return Sakira home, which will be freedom in a wild reserve one day. In my description field, you'll see other online fundraisers I set up for Sakira. Please check them out and consider donating. Please check out runningwildconservation.org and consider volunteering or donating to this special cause, a breeding project to save an endangered species, the cheetah.